Next up then, if we consider our Poisson, then the probability generating, the quotable probability generating function for a Poisson is e to the lambda times t minus one, again, given in the formula booklet. So similar format to last time, uh, we've got one where we can just quote the result, and then part two, we've got to find or show the result from first principles. So part one, uh, here we've got Richard beating his samba drum. Um, I don't think that references to me, by the way. Maybe the other Richard, I think he might play the drums. Um, and then uh, we've got a lambda value of 1.7. So here's our Poisson. There's our standard quotable result. So you just substitute your lambda value into that standard result. Okay, so you can write down your probability generating function straight off. But to show from first principles, so kind of derive the result for this particular Poisson distribution, again, we start by using our standard definition of a probability generating function. So the probability is multiplied by t to the x. And in the case of a Poisson distribution, the probabilities are given by e to the minus lambda, lambda to the x all over x factorial. That's your probability formula for a Poisson um, multiplied by t to the x. So in this case, substitute lambda into that equation. So substitute lambda for 1.7. And again, like last time, bring now the t inside the bracket. So incorporate the t inside the bracket. And we can take out the constant factor of e to the minus lambda. Okay, so take that out of the summation. And then remember for a Poisson distribution, x is going to increase in, in uh, integer values of 1 starting at 0. So the summation of 1.7 t to the all over, uh, or to the x all over x factorial, if you start to substitute in x is 0, x is 1, x is 2, etc., then we get this series expansion here for our summation. And then um, you need to incorporate a bit of your pure maths knowledge now. So you need to recognize that this expansion that we've got here is the same as the Maclaurin series expansion for e to the 1.7t. Okay, so again, this is just something to look out for for the Poisson. You need to know that for the Poisson first principles idea, you need to recognize the Maclaurin series expansion. Okay, so recognizing the Maclaurin series expansion here, we can replace the bracketed um, series expansion with e to the 1.7 um, e to the 1.7t okay using the Maclaurin series expansion to recognize that result. Um, we can then um, use our indice rules to combine our powers and take out a factor of 1.7 to get our answer in the required form same as um, above in part one. So it's a technique to be learnt, okay? You need to basically make sure that you um, work through and learn the processes for the first principles derivations for each of our distributions. They're all um, kind of a little bit different um, and they all require um, a sort of specific idea, in this case, the recognition of the Maclaurin uh, expansion was key.